<laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to some round two action. Uh, this is Temple. I'm your your host and commentator this evening for this fantastic race that I'm about to get started. Uh, pretty even, pretty even match here. Uh, looks like they're both races are ranked pretty evenly, even in uh, race time. But even in terms of ranking and skill, I'd say this is this is a pretty pretty even matchup here. See a lot of these as we get deeper into the rounds. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, more and more evenly matched as we go here. Favorite food is acid. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that until just now. Not sure what kind of acid Tolmar is referring to, but a pretty pretty even start there. Looks like we're in Winters. Winters Saturn Valley Delam. Kid check right off the bat. Looks like that's what we're going for. Let's get those predictions going. Oh, teleport right back into winners. Never mind. I'm immediately not paying attention. Tomar. Sarah. Start the prediction. Okay. So since both these runners are clearly smarter than I am, they went up to winters. Did that check real quick. Faster than running. Something I've learned the hard way. Got a poo check. Always happy to see it in uh, extended PSI. I like to see an early uh, Paula or poo in these. At least personally, that's what I like to see. Rock candy, some money, and a brainstone. Pretty typical. Looks like Sarah going straight for the shop, most likely, or the teleport. Oh, a couple, a couple uh, item checks here. Bat's pretty useless. We do have repel sandwiches. I feel like those are pretty common here in Delam as well. Obviously picking up a few of those. A little bit of cash. Do, 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 do. Looks okay, okay, good, cool. Teleport check. Ten loose. Um, of the like couple of these I've done recently, and the others that I've seen people do, uh, they they show up quite a bit. Especially it being 10 loose, which uh, I guess Tolmar recommends. I guess he uh, regrets putting a slider there and would prefer to just make it 10 no matter what. 10 or nothing, which I understand. Having done like loose 3 or 4, it does kind of make sense to just do all 10. The only real time difference here is that Tolmar checked a couple extra chests. Sarah did not. I imagine we see a lot of uh, gift box checking with the loose items. Depending on the flag set, you'll see different. Uh, you know, sometimes people just won't check gift boxes early. Other times they'll check it a bunch. Meteorite piece, nice. I feel like this is one of those flag sets you check a lot of gift boxes. Tomar going straight for the bosses. Gonna check that out. Yep, 
Yeah, bonks I feel like are just gonna even out. Maybe. Ooh, we got PSI Rocket. It's gonna be a GG seed. It's gonna be a quick one, I'm calling it now. These are uh, two top tier runners who can bang out quick seeds. And uh, with PSI Rocket. Oh, there's some of that random movement. <laughs> Nightmare is still pretty scary. Tomar's just going for it. Probably the right move, yep. Oh, Sarah in a bit of a situation. Confused poo and a dead ness is uh, not ideal, I would say. Subpar, sub, sub optimal. Nice green though. Deadness. Oh, got through the boss though, so we'll take it take that as a W. See what the item check is here. Oh, this is gonna be a big difference for uh Tomar. I missed it, it went by so fast. Um if if, if it's anything I've learned from these uh round two matchups in the in the first bracket is you take any deaths. Any more than one death, I feel like it's it's pretty much over. Unless it's like a particularly difficult seed, which there's nothing like, there's no like curses on or anything, so. Oh, it's bubblegum, okay. So it's a sank. That's our first sank, I guess. It'll be a uh, rainy circle. Yeah, no problem, slug. I wasn't 100% sure if I could make it, if I'd be home in time, but I was, so. Sheriff Intentional Bonk. Oop. Getting fancy with the tellies. A little too fancy. First whack at this uh, Frank slot for Sarah. We'll get a free res on Ness here. Tomar's just gonna go straight for it. Uh, pretty convenient. There's two two full heals for free that runners have access to, which is definitely helpful. Tucson, okay. I feel like this is almost always a noodles, yeah. Or like equivalent to their noodles or a horn of life. Uh, this nightmare can definitely be tricky. Got freeze alpha, that's something. We got a fly honey too, okay. Oh, just sometimes it is a hand aid, that's true. Uh, I didn't see the fly honey pickup. I'm not sure if that was loose. Or check if that was like winters. It might have been like winters or something. Dragonite would be amazing. Yeah, these two bosses back to back is uh, pretty tough. Okay. Much like Tolmar got through with a deadness. Which, again, not a big deal. I want your shop was fly honey, okay. So this should be I don't see any other open sanks currently. 
I guess we have uh, South Winters, so it'll be one or two. No. no. Frank only. Frank Hill only hits Ness. I don't think it'll res either. Yeah, Frank Hill's tricky like that. It's very specific. Junior or DX, this is kind of scary. One of those sprites you never want to see as a boss. Okay, Junior is like not as bad. Especially with Rocket, at least do something. This fight is terrible. Wow. Okay. Nice. Looks like chat is heavily favoring Sarah in this matchup, at least according to the predictions. Let's see if Tolmar goes for this. Probably not. I imagine he'll hold off on this sank. Honor World, there's another, so we just need one more Sanctuary. So a Pencil Eraser will do it. Sign Banana will do it. Yeah, Beowulf. So consider, like, think of, um... So this is extended PSI shuffle, so think of, like... Not only do the PSI abilities themselves get shuffled, but like Jeff's abilities get shuffled into PSI abilities and vice versa. Like PSI abilities get shuffled into Jeff items. It was pretty cool. Um, you can get a lot of pretty sweet combos, but yeah, the little clumsy robot. This could be tricky. Uh, so yeah, PSI rocket is essentially uh, what, you, what you're thinking. Firing, uh, what is just basically just a bottle rocket, and I think Beta would be a big bottle rocket, and Gamma would be a multi. Yeah, clumsy could be a little tricky here. Yeah, it's pretty new for sure. It's definitely a, uh, it's pretty popular amongst the crowd for sure. It was pretty much an instant hit once people saw it in action. Like, it is a crazy cool mechanic. Um, not only being able to have PSI rockets, but just, even like the Jeff items are pretty sweet. A lot of times you have like items like the satellite uplink, I think it's called, and it, it's just a, a repeatable star storm. He has like ice bombs and ice balloons where he can cast ice. So it just makes it a completely new Earthbound experience, in my opinion. Oh, that was Sank 2. Okay, I missed it the first time around. I figured it was going to be one or two. I guess we do technically have access to return mice, we just haven't gotten them. Yeah, tons of stuff, tons of stuff. Tomar decides to go here, yeah, right off to Tucson. I imagine the game plan at this point is just to find one of those key items, okay, and get return mice, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're looking for that last... A pencil eraser will give us access to a sank. Sign, uh... Yeah, sign, or a carrot key will do it. Sorry, not sign banana. It's gonna be a tough fight for Tolmar. I just take the loss on this. Oh, Rocket's Rockin's doing its thing. Maybe he gets through. This is tough though. No, no, the piles are scripted. Boss fights. Alright, Rip Poo. Yeah, 
being sick unfortunately affects accuracy. It's tough. Okay, that's that's a big break for Sarah. That's where that uh, saving Delam comes in handy. Easy heal. Uh, Tolmar just got kind of ganked there, going for a turn mice. Unfortunate for him, but it looks like Sarah's in a bit of a sticky situation too. Tough fight to run from, uh, while UFOs and uh, the Sprouts aren't scripted. Those UFOs are super fast. Okay, at least we got away. Oh, and that was on the way out too. Jeez, that's frustrating as a runner. You get in a situation like that when they're running from you. Oh yeah, going right for those mouse, mouses, mises. That was a feel bad, feels bad fight to get into for sure. Pretty avoidable, but yeah, I mean, Sarah's right here. Looks like we're close to the end here. Zoom, yeah, this is quite zoomy. I had a feeling once we saw Rocket and three Sanks within like 12 minutes, it's like, yeah, this is pretty quick. Um, and it's really just a, a rush to get this last key item, uh, which, I mean, getting that, uh, the naming screen means we're pretty close. Tomar's just gonna run straight to Threed. Interesting. Ketchup. 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 Interesting. So we're seeing a, quite of a divergence here. Tomar knows something. I, want, I, I, I think it's over my head what Tomar is thinking. Hieroglyph copy. Maybe he knows what Apple Kid has knows it's useless. But Tolmar went straight for threed. Ooh, sword. You actually have poo. Not bad. Actually useful. Maybe it's tent. Yeah, more kid checks, but I'm just curious why Tolmar completely skipped Apple Kid. You think you're in Tucson, why not do an Apple Kid check? But Tolmar just went straight for three, like ignored Apple Kid completely. So he knows something. Being the dev, he's got that dev info. Okay, it is Paula check. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is just like, give me that kid check, and maybe that's all there is. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Bow engine. Underworld. Huh. I'm gonna go for the Sank. I think we have 10 to Kraut. Yeah, that, that I, I was kind of s mulling that over a couple moments ago. I was like, maybe, maybe he got um, zombie paper call, and I just didn't notice it. Yeah, it could be. But still, I think like, you know, we're, we're we have access to three sanks. You gotta assume it's just go mode. Oh, keep the shack, I didn't notice. So maybe it is just straight go mode? That could be what it is. I didn't see the key to the shack pick up. Uh, so we might just be straight up in go mode. Yeah, I don't know. It must have been some chest I didn't notice either. Yeah, yeah, that is four. Okay. Interesting, so Key the Shack was Sank 1. Must have just completely missed it early on. I 
good stuff in this shop, and we do have tender kraut. So we picked up a lot more loose than I even noticed. Oh, I didn't see the one from earlier. Nice. Yeah, they're usually pretty good. Especially, obviously, when, the closer you get to the force sank, the better they're going to be. Or if it, you know, maybe they found that Tendekraut and it was like way beyond logic. Um, Sarah has two complete and Tomar is about to finish his second. According to Tomar's splits, only he's only done one so far. Ooh, another tough red. Luckily these baddies aren't like super scary, but this is just time consuming. Tolmar doesn't have the key. Tolmar doesn't have a tracker up. So I cannot confirm. Sarah might have found that key loose somewhere. But it seems like Tolmar's in go mode. It would explain the Apple Kid skip. Explains a lot of things, actually. Easy car painter. Yeah, Rocket is pretty much just GG mode. And it's even been nerfed from its first iteration. So it's South Winters and... Well, they're kind of mixed up now. But I would say Sarah has the slight edge here. Tomar going for the ATM. It first came out and it's just I mean, it's still so good I feel like it could get nerfed again and it would still be like wow this is pretty good I don't want that to happen but it still feels pretty overpowered it's just like someone gets it early and you're like oh okay this seems like no problem especially uh, Dr. Saturn's uh, flag set It's just a final boss you have to kill. You don't have to worry about Gygus. You just and Rocket is so good against everything. Like most of the time with that final boss, that Rocket's all you. It gives you so much confidence just to go for it. I think they're just bombs. PSI bomb, which is still ridiculously good. Oh, there's zombie paper. Okay, so yeah, it was just that. It was go mode and we didn't know. Didn't see the key pick up. Everyone missed it. Except the runners. I don't think we'll see sub 30. With South Winters here, maybe Sarah could, I guess, pull it off. Ooh, two confused kids. That's a little scary. Okay, so I guess now Tomar's got the lead. I miscalculated how long this was gonna take for Sarah. Um, it's also been a pretty bad pond cave. So. 
that Tomar is taking a bit of a lead here. They're going right for the boss. Wow. There's a bear for him. That was... Didn't sound like my PC. I'll just blame Tomar. It was okay. Oh, my PC's never made that noise before. Ooh, nice. That fight was just over so quick, I didn't even notice. Blasted right through that fight, no fear for Sarah. Yeah, I, I literally was like looking over at Discord to see what that sound was and that fight was over. <laughs> So fast, even with confused kids, Sarah was just like, doesn't matter, I'm fighting this boss and I'm killing it, and that's exactly what happened. This is usually a tough teleport, and there's these enemy spawn plates here. Sheesh. Is that what that is, Google Voice? Yeah, I don't use them. Yeah, this is actually running pretty tight here. Now Tomar has to contend with the entirety of South Winter's Tessie Ride, etc. Um, Sarah just has to get through this sank, and it's on to Magicant, so... I if Sarah has any repel which is left, they're trying to Geeko for Magicant. Because uh, Fire Springs definitely sucks for enemy spawns. All these tight little tunnels. It looks like they're just trying to eco. Nice. That was a good little door entry. And a beautiful green. I'm not sure you can run from these. Ca or, no, you can. They're not scripted. They're just ridiculously fast. Okay, yeah, four repel, which is... You need three for Magic Hand. So, yeah, that was an eco. Nice. Uh, pretty solid... Sandwich management there from Sarah. Got through that door. Got a nice green. Used the one sandwich. Very nice. See why Sarah destroys me consistently and thoroughly. Very, very solid gameplay. <laughs> very clean and, uh. Yeah, I'll just go with clean mostly. And just the routing. I mean, this, this seed was just zoomy. It's all just kind of laid out. There were a couple divergencies, but. <laughs> Oh, save, going right for it. That's that's kind of how you, you go for it with uh, Rocket. That's the, that's the Rocket confidence right there, the no save. It's funny how fast that happens with Scramble. Rock and confidence, rock confidence. Oh, no more ads. Um, but yeah, it happens so quick, like... You know, Sarah kind of did the weeklies once in a while, and was like, good, you know, had good times. And then all of a sudden, just like, was putting up top tier times and like, beating everyone within like, a couple weeks. Like, it happens like that with Scramble. I think it starts to just click for some people. Ooh, Krakens. Is this even randomized? Rolling ad when they get to Nightmare. Nice, I like it. I like the way you think. Yeah, that's really turned around for Sarah. Yeah, these rockets are just gonna do it, especially betas. GG's.
Yeah, both both runners took deaths. Um, so it just kind of evened out. It was early on, Tomar had the lead, and then uh, yeah, it took that tough death with the what was that that red swirl in south on it. That was really the turning point for Sarah. Sarah caught their break. GG's. Oh wow, sub 30. There it is. Whew. That's our, what, second sub 30 for the tournament? Craziness. Second sub 30 this week. Yeah, no problem, Slug. My pleasure. Oh wow, and the crowd. Majority went for Sarah. You were right. Wait, 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 wait. some people some points yesterday. Shout out to the temple believers. Sorry I let you down. I see you. <laughs> I see the doubters too. Luckily, the points are worth nothing. They come and they go. Dang, 29 minutes. Craziness. Ooh, Teddy Bear in a Sea of Eden. I guess there's only four kids. If it was full party, I feel like that teddy bear's got to go. There you go, plus 50. Uh, gotta love some of those sound fonts. Bang, bang, GG's all around. Well done, racers. For buffer. Who's streaming? Who is streaming? Etchy is the only one I see. Etchy be grinding. So Etchy we raid. Appreciate y'all hanging out. That was a quick one. Easy, easy half hour restream. Five hour energy. Because. Five hour energy. Holy crap. Um, next race. Yeah, good call. When is the next race? Do 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 do. Six sixteen. Let's see if they've been listed. It's like the 21st, yeah, just the 21st, which is what, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday the 21st, it says 9 p.m. I'm not sure if that's Central or Eastern. That's probably Central, so 10 Eastern, 9 Central, Tuesday. Uh, we'll have Pink Panther versus Choggles. That'll be a fun one. But uh, yeah, definitely tune into that. Thanks for hanging tonight, y'all. Uh, enjoy Etchy. And uh, yeah, have a great night.